series of questions we are discussing okay let's see an, another question this is a question in quadratic equation it reads p is equal to ax square plus a square x plus 9 and q is equal to minus 3x plus 5 if only one real value of x satisfies p is equal to q find the value for a there are two conditions which we are looking for number one is this one that p is equal to q here number two there is only one there is only one real value of x okay that means okay the, the roots for x actually must be real and there should be exactly one here okay now see what we know in quadratic equations is okay in a general quadratic equation expressed like this ax square plus bx plus c is equal to zero the roots are real and equal it is said this one there is exactly one root here so it means the two roots actually must be equal here okay this happens here the roots are real and equal when the discriminant of that quadratic equation is equal to zero here that is in other words we are telling this one b square minus a 4ac actually must be equal to zero here what are these a b and c they are the coefficients of x square x and that constant here okay now this is the condition actually which you are looking for okay so first re let's rewrite the quadratic equation here okay considering okay con uh, considering this condition p is equal to q here suppose if we equate p with a q here we get a, this one quadratic equation like this it is ax square plus a square x plus a 9 should equal how much it is minus 3x plus a 5 here okay if you bring all the like uh, if you bring all the terms towards one side here we are getting like this here it is ax square here next one it is plus a square plus a 3 and then into an x here and then 9 minus a 5 that is plus 4 is equal to a 0 here this is a quadratic equation here for which we are looking for that the roots of this one x must be real and equal okay there should be only one value for an x here okay so hence the discriminant of this quadratic equation must be equal to zero here now what is the discriminant here okay observe here we identify the discriminant actually must be equal to zero here please observe here this is the value for a i mean comparing it with the general quadratic equation coefficient of x square that is a here coefficient of x here we'll consider this one as b here and this is the value for c here and we are looking for b square minus of 4ac must be equal to zero here okay so hence our equation would the condition will look something like this it is a square plus a 3 and then whole square okay minus 4 into a into a c c is how much it is 4 here this actually must be equal to 0 here so here what we have okay if we expand this once we are going to get like this here it is a raised power of a 4 plus okay plus 2 into 3 6 here that is that gives us 6 a square next one is a plus a 9 here okay minus a 16 a is equal to a 0 here okay yep we could write this one as what it is a raised to power of a 4 plus it is a 0 a cube okay 0 a cube plus a 6 a square okay minus a 16 a and a plus a 9 is equal to a 0 here okay now if you observe a little bit carefully here okay we are trying to find the value for a here but if you okay observe very carefully here okay see if you take a is equal to 1 here what happens you will get this one 1 okay here it is 0 1 plus 0 is 0, 1 here 1 plus 6 here is 7 7 plus 9 here is 16 and 16 minus 16 is equal to 0 here what does it mean if you substitute a is equal to 1 it satisfies this one so hence we can surely tell this one that 1 is 1 among the roots of this fourth degree expression okay so here we can tell this one <coughs> since okay a is equal to, since a is equal to 1 satisfies the above equation since a is equal to 1 satisfies the above equation here <laughs> okay we can tell this one a is equal to 1 is one root is one root of the given equations okay now we need to find the other roots also here now the other roots we can find it actually by by synthetic division here please observe if one is one among the roots here we can tell it this one a minus 1 is equal to 0 is one factor is one factor of this fourth degree expression here okay so let's find the other factors here by dividing this expression with a minus a one here let's do that synthetic division here okay let me write this one once again okay in a different slide here okay here i have this one it is a raised to power of a four plus how much it is a zero into a cube next one i have this one six a square okay six a square next one I have minus a 16a 
and a plus a 9 is equal to 0 here. I have found this one here that a minus 1 is one factor. That means, okay, I could write it as it is a minus 1 into some, okay, the product of some other, uh, this one, I mean, a minus 1 as one factor and other factors here, the product of those two factors must be equal 0 here. Now, finding the other ones, let's do it by using synthetic division. In synthetic division, we follow this ones. We write the coefficients actually, you know, decreasing order here it's just like this here okay here what am i doing i'm doing the <coughs> synthetic division okay it's like this here it is 1 0 6 minus a 16 and a 9 here okay now so since i know this one one is a root here i start with this one i start with writing zero here okay now just observe one plus a zero is how much it is one one into a one is equal to how much it is one zero plus one is one one into a one is how much it is one okay six plus one is seven okay one into a seven is seven okay it comes as a plus seven here minus 16 and the plus a seven is minus nine and one into a minus nine is minus nine nine plus nine is equal to zero here okay since we are getting this one zero here we can surely tell this one that one is the root actually of this okay of this uh, fourth degree equation here okay now still further okay one more one more uh, if you observe this one it is seven plus one plus one is nine here nine minus nine is equal to zero so it means there is an another root which is also which is equal to one here so hence now once again let me write it suppose if there is a one here i start with this one zero one plus one plus one plus zero is one one into one is one one plus one is two okay one into two is two here seven plus two is nine and one into nine is nine here and minus nine plus a nine is equal to how much it is zero here okay so what did i find here i found this one there are two factors of a minus one there are two roots of one here either i say like this there are two roots of one or there are two factors of an a minus one and there is an another factor here which is a quadratic equation here which is a which is in the form of a quadratic uh, uh, expression here which is given like this it is a square how much now a square plus a 2a plus a 9 okay this is the way we try to find it i mean this fourth degree expression if you are factorizing it this is what we are going to get it here now if you observe very carefully a square plus 2i plus a 9 here okay this this one can't it be written as this 9 here can't it be written as how much it is 1 plus a 8 here now if you observe these three terms actually taken this one together here a square plus 2a plus a 1 here is what it is a it is a plus 1 whole square so it means the given Okay, fourth degree expression can now be factorized and written like this. It is a minus a 1 into a, a minus a 1 into what now? It is a plus a 1 whole square and then plus a 8 plus a 8. <laughs> okay, now see here. So here this way we want it equal to 0. Now, when can we tell the product of factors is equal to 0? When each of these factors can be taken equal to 0 here. Now, here what does it mean? Either it can happen a minus 1 is equal to 0 or it can happen it is a plus 1 whole square plus 8 is equal to 0 here. But please observe a plus 1, okay, might be a positive or a negative number, but a plus 1 whole square will always be a positive number. And that positive number, I mean, a plus 1 whole square will be a non-negative number here. And non-negative number plus a 8 here will definitely be a positive number. And that positive number can never equal 0. So that means we can now tell this one here. Okay, we can now tell this one that this one never happens. Okay, a plus 1 whole square plus a 8 is equal to 0. That never happens here. So what is the only possibility that can happen here? We can tell this one a minus 1 is equal to 0. That is the only thing that can happen here. That's why we get this one. The value for a is equal to 1 here. What are we asked to find? We are asked to find the value for a here. And that's what we get. a is equal to 1 here. That's the answer to this question. a is equal to 1. Okay, that's the answer to this question here. Thank you very much.